and welcome to 6H's Christmas Story. We have got for you The Little Reindeer Saves Christmas and it is a wonderful, wonderful book that you are going to love and you are going to enjoy. Now, it does have one of our best features in it. I wonder if you can figure out which best, part best, Little Reindeer is going to do. Now, I'm going to pass you over to my class to read it. They are wonderful readers, they are very enthusiastic readers and they are going to do this brilliantly. So guys, good luck. There was trouble at the North Pole. It was nearly Christmas, but one of the Santa's reindeers was sick. There, there, said Santa, shaking the reindeer's head. We'll need to find someone else, else to help pull my sleigh. Any, Any volunteers? Not likely, whispered the younger reindeer. Ducking down, we're not ready for that. Unfortunately, one little reindeer forgot to duck. You do, said Santa. Me fly, said the little reindeer. I can't, I won't, it's not possible. Yes it is, said the oldest reindeer. Go up to the top of that cliff and have a go. Who knows that stuff, you're flying. The little reindeer went to the top of the steep, icy cliff. He took one big breath and, uh, and set off with a trot. Then a canter, then a gallop. He got off the edge of the cliff and took one big leap. Go according to flow. The reindeer's life didn't light up and he didn't fly. In fact, he fell with a terrible thud into a huge pot of snow. Ouch, ouch. He cried as he rolled over and over. Soon the reindeer had turned into one giant snowball. Down, down. The, the snowball is getting bigger and bigger. Run, cried Santa, so I saw the carrying pencil. Loud, uh, look out, cried Santa. Giant snowball coming through. The giant snowball landed right in the middle of Santa's workshop. What on earth are you doing, asked Santa? This is no time to be playing with snowballs. There's work to be done. You try flying yourself up a cliff and see how you like it, whispered little reindeer, brushing snow off his antlers. Just then, the oldest reindeer said, You need to really believe that you can fly. Have another go, but this time say, I can fly, I can fly. Go. Little reindeer trudged back up the cliff. He took a big breath and flung himself off. I can fly, he, I can fly. He cried. Suddenly, he felt lighter. He, walked, he began to get higher and higher until his nose began to grow. I can really fly, he cried. And it was the happiest moment he could ever remember. This is brilliant. Cried little reindeer, swooping and diving and looping the loop. He and no, he had no intention of coming back down. Santa got to his loudspeaker out and shouted, "Stop making a mess about up there, little reindeer! Get down here at once!" reindeer at the back of the sleigh. I don't want you messing about, he said. I can keep an eye on you on here. Little reindeer didn't mind. It was also terribly exciting. Once the sleigh was loaded, he noticed that Santa was in a much better mood. It was probably thanks to a big piece of Mrs. Claus's delicious Christmas cake. Santa gave a huge beaming smile and the little reindeer felt the, tight the tightening of his reins. It was time to go, and the sound of hooves padding on the snow, jingling of bells, the, the sleigh flew Whoosh! into the night sky. It was, it was brilliant fun, whizzing through the skies, but suddenly little reindeer's reins went a bit slack, but other reindeer were slowing down. What's the matter? asked Santa as the sleigh began to descend. We don't feel very well, said the other reindeer just managing to land on a snowy roof. Santa felt their foreheads. Oh dear, he said. It looks like you're ill. Um, ill too. Better get you back to Mrs. Claus. We must be quick though. Christmas Day will be here soon. Back at the North Pole, the reindeer were wrapped up for. It's a shame we couldn't deliver the last present, said Little Reindeer. Never mind, there's always next year, and he plodded off to bed. 
Hold it right there, said Santa smiling. It's not bedtime yet. You're the only reindeer who can fly and isn't sick. I need you to fly the sleigh, otherwise Christmas will be cancelled. Okay, said Little Reindeer in a small squeaky voice. Action! Little Reindeer felt really nervous. Don't worry, said Mrs Claus, giving him a special piece of chocolate cake. This will do the trick. It works for Santa every time. Suddenly, Little Reindeer started to feel much better. He was absolutely raring to go, and this is excellent. What he did? In fact, he went like a rocket. Bye, golly, said Santa, laughing as he can, and the ra little reindeer flew off to deliver the very last present. Action! After a long night, Santa and little reindeer arrived at the North Pole. Everyone clapped and cheered. Yay! Oh, it was lovely, said little reindeer, blushing, but Santa disagreed. You are very brave and little reindeer, he said. I'm very proud of you. Little reindeer looked up at Santa with a tear in his eye. Thank you, Santa, he said. That's the best Christmas present. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone! Yeah? Blue <laughs>